بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين. Well, good morning, ladies, and all the guests who are attending this uh, forum today. Before I start, before I start my speech, I would like to say when Mira was speaking about the woman and how she is in this society and all the other societies around the world. I would like to say that it is very well known about the woman that she only uses half her brain. And I would like to say that when the woman is using half her brain, she is studying, she is uh, uh, polishing her skills, she is marrying, she is getting her children, she is breeding generations and looking after them to make a doctor, to make an engineer, to make an ambassador, to make a minister, and so on. And she is using half her brain. But what if she uses all her brain? Do we think that she is going to conquer the whole world? I don't know. I will leave this for every one of us as a woman here today to really think how far can we get and what is the ceiling there above our head. Are we exceeding that ceiling or we are stopping before that and saying, yeah, there is a full stop there and we need to really stop here and that is the end of the journey. For us as Dubai Business Women Council, I would like to tell you the first vision that we have put for ourselves was to change the misperception about the woman in the Middle East, in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, in the eyes of all the people who are living outside the Middle East, to see and to tell them that women in our part of the world, they are not ignored, they are not mistreated, they are educated, they have culture, they have traditions, and they go through with it. So today I'm happy here to say that I do welcome everybody and I would like to take you further in my speech to say that we did manage to go around the world with Dubai Business Women Council and really to have a nice good say to, ho to the, all the world. And we expected that, come on, now we did our job in three, four years' time. Will we have any response from the world? Let me tell you, the response was 100% from all over the places that we went, Canada, Australia, United States, Europe, name any country in Europe. And all the delegations came to us to see how do we run our businesses. We did not take them to luxurious offices so that they think that only the people are doing our work. We took them exactly to the field where we are really running our businesses from. Here I go back to technology. I am also like how Trace said, I don't come from a background of technology, but I taught myself through teaching my children computers. I get into it and I know how to perform and how to act and how to respond to that machine. And then when I came to my business, I had all the people to be around me to make me feel that I am part and partial of the technology. So, it is my pleasure to address a gathering that focuses on enabling women to advance societal change as businesswomen and entrepreneurs. Every day, businesswomen all over the world continue to find innovative solutions that can be transformed into profitable businesses. Given appropriate opportunities, women are capable of being as successful in business as men. Here in the UAE, we are fortunate to have visionary leaders who have always emphasized on the role of women in growth and development of the country and its economy. There are also encouraged them to reshape their traditional roles. The UAE lead leaders, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the late founding leader 
and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, UAE President and the ruler of Abu Dhabi, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister, ruler of Dubai, have created a nation that boasts some of the world's most awe-inspiring architectural structures, businesses, trade networks, and social consciences. Women hold 66% of public sector posts in UAE and 30% of senior decision-making positions in the government sector. In fact, Emirati women occupy high-profile uh, high position in all sectors of society, including the judiciary, prosecution services, diplomatic corps, police force, military forces, business, and finance. The leadership and society have rightly acknowledged the role of women in the economy by creating equal employment opportunities. For women to thrive in business, the UAE is certainly one of the best places in the world to be. Therefore, it is not surprising to see a large number of women both nationals and expatriates, in leading roles in virtually every business as well as influential posts within the government. Most importantly, it is a vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum which propels these opportunities. He is quoted as saying, it is not strange for a UAE woman to be an ambassador. She who proves herself merits, praise, and encouragement. As you are aware, innovation is what sets this oasis of opportunities Dubai, aside from other business hubs around the world, and with the win of Expo 2020, the Emirate is set to showcase new marvels that will open several business opportunities to existing corporates, international investors, entrepreneurs, and most importantly of all, create plenty of new job opportunities open to all. The great opportunity which has been bestowed upon Dubai will also provide an opportunity for entrepreneurs to flourish in the Middle Eastern markets. Entrepreneurs in general are recognized by their success or failure. However, the nature of business that they undertake and the manner in which they handle their business are the main factors that determine relative success or in fact failure. It is even more relevant in case of women entrepreneurs as there are numerous factors that impact their ventures. Many of them learn the nuances of business only after they start a particular venture. Businesswomen and entrepreneurs can easily be considered as the agent of social change and at Dubai Businesswomen Council, we would like to be one of the vehicles of this change. Our vision is to become a viable networking platform which will improve opportunities through the exchange of knowledge and expertise, through the exchange of knowledge and expertise serving as a catalyst for positive action through collective community advocacy. There is unlimited potential to be found amongst the women living in the UAE, and we must unlock it for the benefit of all. Dubai Business Women Council was founded in 2002 under the umbrella of Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry with Her Royal Highness Haya bint al Hussein, wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, as its honorary chairperson. It is now the official representative organization for businesswomen, both professionals and entrepreneurs, in the Emirate of Dubai. Dubai Business Women Council plays an essential role in fostering a stronger entrepreneurial spirit and in enabling motivated businesswomen in the UAE to make their mark. It's our goal to support, guide, and mentor 
the dreams of our women entrepreneurs by both citizens and expatriates. The growth and development of Dubai and its transformation into a culturally diverse melting pot is represented at the Dubai Business Women Council and is shown throughout the members' demographics. The Council's members include employed executives, entrepreneurs, senior managers, CEOs, as well as established business owners. Members represent a diverse mix of culture and nationalities, as well as several industries and trade. At the Council, we believe that improving women's access to adequate training and information is vital to enhance participation in quality jobs and entrepreneurship. Steering women towards courses in, the line, in line with economic and business development helps develop their employ uh, employability and their possible subsequent pathway as entrepreneurs. On a monthly basis, the Council arranges a series of initiatives, trainings, workshops, and presentations known as Network Majlis, which are designed to support them throughout the process of initiating their businesses in the public or private sector enterprise. The Dubai Business Women Council also exposes numbers to business-related events and conferences that are taking place in Dubai throughout the Emirates and the region. The Council also works with the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry to support women entrepreneurs by granting them access to attend Dubai Chamber's events. As President of Dubai Business Women Council, and as a businesswoman, and more importantly, as a woman, I encourage my fellow businesswomen to embrace this opportunity and to be an integral part of UAE's vibrant business culture. We endeavor to strengthen ties with all international trade links in order to empower every business individual and look towards a future where people come together to work effectively in order to create a harmonious world. We have gathered at this prestigious event to celebrate and inaugurate women in business. We share one common goal, and it encourages us to further leverage the importance of platforms like these to eventually gain a bigger share of voice. Dubai, the UAE, welcomes every woman in business as we build a successful future together. I end here by saying also to Trish, when your daughter next time asks you who invented the gum or who invented the zipper or who invented whatever, say the woman invented love to bring all the inventors in the world to invent zippers, gums, machines, blah, blah, blah. And we are no less than anybody else. We are in the same boat. We should clap together and work in harmony, and I am sure that we will reach. There is the give and take, and there is somebody who will pull from his side, but the other side has to be a more softer, so that he gives away to the pull, that person who pulls, because the next time he will be pulling, and that person has to be softer to give away. Thank you very much. And I wish you all a good day and a successful forum. And thank you for having me as Dubai Business Women Council President here today. Thank you.